Hi everybody, I'm Dory. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I figured since I'm filling my vitamin boxes up for the week, um, I would go over what I take four years, almost four years post-op from vertical sleeve gastrectomy, weight loss surgery um, on a daily basis. I did get these new, um, this is, they come in this little sleeve and here are all the little packs. There's one per day. I got one for my husband. This is his. I fill his up too, uh, just with his vitamins. Of course, we put a little slash through his since they're identical. And at one point I took a multivitamin for a man. <laughs> um, so I wanted to welcome all my new subscribers here. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate you hitting the like button, uh, subscribing, the little bell icon, all the things down there because I really am trying to grow my channel to get the word out on um, the success you can have um, with keto, with uh, taking out those harmful uh, pesticides and bacteria out of your system, paleo, uh, all the different things, and of course weight loss surgery. Okay, let's get started. So I bought this, um, this little handy dandy pill thing because it has four different containers. So it has one for uh, morning, noon, evening, and bedtime, okay? So I like it because it reminds me when to take my, my vitamins. I know some people will forget I'm home during the day, so uh, for the most part, I don't forget to take them. I know my husband forgets to take his, so he sets an alarm. So that's something that you can do in your phone, set yourself an alarm to take your vitamins. So I just wanna go over what vitamins I take. Um, some of these are required after weight loss surgery, uh, and some of them I choose to take for just health overall, which is for my heart health and for my cardiovascular system, for um, uh, I take an enzyme which helps to produce, uh, to help you to go to the bathroom and help kind of get the food going through your system. And I'll tell you why I take them at the time of day that I do. So in the morning time, I always take my vitamin C. These are the ones, most of these vitamins I get on Amazon. So these are the ones that I'm taking. They're vitamin C. These are 1600 milligrams per serving. Um, they're fat soluble. Uh, it has, uh, it helps uh, collagen production or uh, yeah. And it has, um, this one's enhanced uh, absorption. So I take that in the morning along with my magnesium. So this is the magnesium, high absorption magnesium. Um, it contains, it comes with, um, it has black pepper in it, which is really important for the way that it's going to absorb in your body. Um, and this one is, uh, it, it promotes bone, heart, nerve, and muscle health. So I take those two first thing in the morning um, and I also take a, a, I'll just show you guys what it is here, but this is just a, it contains ephedra. It's just something that I take for energy every day. So I don't usually have a coffee or anything that gives me all the energy. I take it twice a day, not something, you know, you have to comment below about if you like ephedra, you like it. If you don't, you don't, you don't abuse it. Um, but anyways, that's how I get my mommy stuff done all day. Um, then that was morning. Then afternoon, I take my multivitamin for her. And this is, it also has D3 in it. It has iron, calcium. Um, now you will hear that if you take your multivitamin with your calcium at the same time, it will cancel out the iron. And so um, it's kind of funny that they add it in, but I take do take a separate um calcium and I don't take that at the same time as this one so I take this at noon along with uh, turmeric and curcumin um, this has pepper inside it actually the other one magnesium doesn't have pepper I don't know why I said that but this one has pepper in it which helps your body to um, to get it uh, to have it process better um, so this is 1500 milligrams and this helps with inflammation um, then at noon, I also take my D3 and it's 125 micrograms, which is 5,000 I use. So I take that every day at noon. So those are the pills I take at noon. Then in the evening time, I take, 
my apple cider vinegar, which um, this has the mother in it. It just supports healthy detoxing and taking crud out of your body. You guys have heard what apple cider vinegar does. Um, I like to take it in a pill form, but I will also add it in uh, to my drink sometimes, not all the time. So I take my apple cider vinegar and then I take my, let's see what pill is this? I wanna say it's this one. Yes, so it's an enzyme seven. So this one I take because um, I need to be able to have a good digestion. I have sometimes where I feel like I've um, maybe overeaten kind of feeling. And so I take that kind of just to get things moving. So that's what I take in the evening. And then bedtime, I take two of these. Now this, if you, you don't have to take all of these. I'll tell you the ones that are mandatory, but this is called Chanca Piedra, which in Spanish is translated to stone breaker. My husband and I have had kidney stones. Um, both of us landed in the hospital for it at the ER. I've um, had actually three visits before they were diagnosed correctly. But since those visits, I have not had any issues. And that is because I choose to take the enzyme and then I take Chanca Piedra every day. So that is one of the ones I take before bed. And then the other thing that I take before bed um, is the enzyme. Did I mention that one? Let me see, yeah. I have to look at my pills and, and the thing. So I take both of these before bed and that's on purpose just to kind of produce, like digest everything that I have eaten during the day. Um, and somehow I forgot to show you guys where did, oh, so the evening time, I don't know if I told you this, but I take my Citricol. Um, these are Citricol Petites Calcium Citrate. I have never had an issue at all with swallowing. Even one week post-op, I could chug my water. That reminded me to chug it. Um, and I just never, ever, ever had any kind of an issue uh, swallowing. But I do buy the petites. This is what they look like. So they're not too bad. Um, they are petites, so maybe, oops, maybe they're like the size of the tip of my finger, maybe. Um, what are big, um, which I do okay swallowing, but it does take a lot are the magnesium. The magnesium are huge. Um, and so that's basically what I take every day. These things are great. I got them on Amazon, $7.99 for these trays. But I love every day, today, Sunday. So every day is labeled morning, noon, evening, bedtime. So morning I take about, um, I'm gonna say about 6.30 to 7 a.m. Noon I take at noon. Evening I take around four to five. And then bedtime, I take uh, right before I go to bed, maybe I'd say 8.30, 9 o'clock before I go upstairs. And so um, I also wanted to say that for me, when I take any of them on an empty stomach, none of them do any problems, they get me nauseous, except for my, um, my, where is it? Right here, my multivitamin. That gets me nauseous. So that's why I take it at noon because by noon I'm normally, um, have broken my fast. Um, and so I just filled up my, my vitamins for the day. I'll show you guys what it, you know, it's just so, it's really easy just to do. They all snap back here by date, uh, by day rather, I should say. And um, let me see, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, so then here they are. They don't come out of it until you pull them out. And, um, so let me just back up for you guys who are thinking of weight loss surgery. Um, you know, anybody who wants to know like what is going to be required after vertical sleep. I cannot speak for people who have had a bypass or a DS. Only because bypass, you get the malabsorption. So you guys have to take, I think, more. Um, so the things that are needed after surgery that they tell you to take for sure is a multivitamin totally 
uh, calcium, and it has to be calcium citrate. Um, and then they tell you to take a um, D3 is very good and um, vitamin C. Those are the only things that my office required me to have to take after surgery. Of course, that doesn't include any kind of prescription medication, which I'm not on. Um, I was on high blood pressure medication prior to surgery, and I'm happy to say I had my surgery September 12th of 2016, and by November I was off one of those pills, uh, amylodipine I believe it was, and then by December I was off the other one. They were very low. I was only on them for maybe six months maybe. I didn't even have to take them long, um, but because of my surgery, my blood pressure stabilized, and now um, where it was maybe 100 and I'm trying to think what it used to be. It was like maybe 150 over 90 maybe. It wasn't like crazy, but enough that I needed medication. And now it's like maybe 120 over 65, 70. Um, but those are my vitamin regimen. I also, uh, just so you guys know, it's none of the, the, the things that I pointed out that I take are just that I choose to take it to help my body to uh, perform the best and I think it's gonna give me longevity. Uh, there is something else that I do take on a daily basis and that is collagen. And I do that for skin and for your muscles and everything. And this is the one that I'm using and it's by Perfect Keto. Um, it's vanilla, it's a collagen, uh, keto collagen, but the thing is is that I do have another brand that I buy from my local nutrition company and it's by, the, it's by Giant Sports and everything is grass fed and organic in that one um, and there's no carbs. Um, Perfect Keto for some reason added two carbs to their um, new formulated uh, collagen which is not something that I want to do. I don't want to waste two carbs on, you know, something that I'm just going to have in my coffee, you know, just collagen. So in any event, that is what I take. I hope that you guys found this um, information useful. I hope that um, you guys have a wonderful week. Today's Sunday. I will be doing meal prepping and getting out a video tomorrow. I have some really fun stuff that I'm going to meal prep. Um, and so, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.